some group projects and working on using text to find good times to use the passive voice. Um, and uh, at the end of that, we will go back and we will do review exercises since this is the last uh, day of teaching passive voice. This will last about 45 minutes and this will last about 45 minutes. As a quick review of the passive voice, when the focus belongs on the object, not the agent. So what does that mean? Up here, we talk about the grammar notes. Can be found by you in unit 17, page 273 in your book. Focus being on grammar notes, not being on you. Also the passive voice. Um, when we don't need to identify the agent, there's no reason to put it in the sentence. Again, with the example up top, the grammar notes can be found in Unit 17, page 273, because we all have been in class and know that we will be talking about you, so there's no reason to, uh, to restate it. Also, there may be times when uh, you don't really want to identify the agent. If, uh, somebody did not turn their homework again, you might choose to use a passive sentence to just talk about the homework not being turned in, but not say, by Richie or by Robin. I'll hand out the assignment uh, in just a moment. I wanted to review real quickly a couple examples of passive voice that we used last week. Just to refresh your mind, and it'll help you with the uh, assignment. 